The first look at my conversation with Carrie Washington. She's written an incredibly honest new memoir. It's called Thicker Than Water. And you can just feel the bravery in every page. She's typically, as we told you, and you know this, she's a very private person. But she's sharing these intimate revelations. And it's all for a purpose. And you are? Olivia. Hope. From starring in ABC's hit primetime show Scandal, it's handled. To blockbuster films like Save the Last Dance. You need to watch where you sit, girl. Don't ever let me catch you at that table again. And it's Chanel. And Django Unchained. <laughs> Carrie Washington has cemented her place as Hollywood royalty. Carrie! But despite her fame, she's famously remained fiercely private. After being someone who was so private, guarded, that's all gonna change. Are yeah. you ready? I don't know. I think I am. I've never wanted to share my private life for the sake of fame or for the sake of attention, but I feel like this sharing is with purpose. In her new memoir, Thicker Than Water, Carrie's sharing deeply personal revelations for the first time, including detailing the depths of an eating disorder she describes as raging out of control. By the time I got to college, my relationship with food and my body had become a toxic cycle of self-abuse that utilized the tools of starvation, binge eating, body obsession, and compulsive exercise. The first thing that put me on my knees, like the first time that I actually got on my knees and prayed to some power greater than myself to say like, I can't do this, I need some help, was with my eating disorder. Carrie struggling to maintain that picture perfect image on the outside as a secret battle brewed inside. I was good at performing perfect. I was good at control. I could party all night and drink and smoke and have sex and still show up and, you know, have good grades. And I knew how to manage. I was so high functioning. And the food took me out, like the body dysmorphia, the body hatred. It was beyond my control and really led me to feeling like I need help from somebody and something bigger than me or I am in trouble because I don't know how to live with this. And I could feel how the abuse was a way to really hurt myself as if I didn't want to be here. Like it scared me that I could want to not be here because I was in so much pain. So you actually contemplated suicide? Yeah, yeah. That's how dark. Yeah, the behavior was tiny little acts of trying to destroy myself. How did you get to the healing part? How do you not revert back to a pattern that you had for so many years in your life? I mean, I wouldn't say that I never act out with food. It's just very different now. It's not to the extreme. There's no suicidal ideation. That is not where I am anymore. But I know like, oh, I'm really in this chocolate today. This is good information for me. The bottom has gotten a lot higher where just like a little discomfort with it is enough for me to know that this is a way to check myself. But it definitely looks, it looks a lot healthier. It's a lot easier. It's a lot saner than it used to be. Carrie also writing about her lifelong search for identity, questioning her own truth after wrapping seven seasons living in Olivia Pope's world. So I thought, do I even know who that authentic self is? If I'm no longer Olivia Pope, who am I? And it was during that time, Carrie learned new information from her parents that she says changed everything. I was shocked. <laughs> And that's it. How, what? No, no. <laughs> what? Okay, I did that just, just for you, I, I was, I was yeah. sitting here going, oh, It's no. only Thursday, no. Michael. It's only Thursday. <laughs> yeah, we just said that. But, you know, she had an idea of writing a book. Then mm. when she got that text from her parents, she wrote a different book. That's how much it, it, that's how oh, much wow. it impacted wow. her and what she wanted to, to share with folks. But like she said, it, it's, it, it's, with, it's with purpose. And in her memoir, she takes us through some really dark times in her life, shares how she was able to find the light 
a lot of counseling, how to come out on the other side. And we sat down. Oh, her parents are so sweet. Earl and Valerie mm -hmm. went to the Bronx, yeah. went to the Boogie Down Bronx. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we talked about that monumental revelation. So you're going to hear how they work through it as a family and what other families possibly can learn from them. And I, I am so grateful to Carrie for her vulnerability and really looking forward to sharing our full conversation this Sunday night. It's a special edition of 2020 at 10 p.m. 9 central. So after you watch some football on Sunday, sit we'll down. We'll finally learn what's in that text. Yes. yes. We'll find out what is in the text. We promise that you'll see what's in that text. Yes. You promise? <laughs> promise. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Rob. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.